So the other night when I was streaming, I had a subscriber ask me to look at a brand that I kind of know about, but you know, I never really looked into. I've heard of them because it was such a big deal when it dropped, but it was something that I, I've always thought about looking at, but I'm glad that he brought it up because it gives me a chance to review it in a way that allows me to finally view this stuff for the first time. I really wanted to look at this brand. It's very famous now. It's a very big brand, probably one of the biggest like YouTuber brands that is out there. If you haven't heard of them, I'm sure you know who is behind it. Uh, this is my official review for Cloak Brand by Jacksepticeye and Markiplier. Let's dive in. Same disclaimer as last time, guys. I like both these YouTubers. I think they're good dudes. And uh, honestly, Cloak Brand, from what I've read and what I've been reading, does a lot of charity. So if you find a piece here that you like, please go go purchase it because the, the proceeds go to good things. They go to do good things. But this in no way reflects my emotions around these two guys. They're great guys, okay? But let's get into the video. I kind of took the liberty of looking a little bit first because uh, with, the, with the Misfits uh, store, the Scuff store, I was surprised that there were only nine pieces. And I really analyzed each piece very in depth. Here, we got the opposite. There is a lot of pieces. I think there's over a couple hundred. It, it would take me hours to go through piece by piece. So we're not going to do that. What we're going to do today is they luckily have everything done by drops. And I think they have, let's see, four, eight, they have uh, 11 drops. We are gonna go through these by drops, and if I see a piece that really stands out to me, we will snag it and we'll look at it and we'll dive deep. But let's go through and let's start looking right now. Okay, so the first drop is the Seek Wonder drop. I like that they have names for their drops. A lot of companies and, and people kind of let that slide at the end of the day, but I like this. I like that, uh, that they're doing like drop one, drop two. No, no, this is the Seek Wonder drop. So here, this is cool. It's like infrared, interesting. I like the color schemes. I really do. The subtle kind of cloak uh, fading really fits well with that idea of infrared and different spectrums and stuff like really, really cool uh, design that sticks through the idea of this drop. What in the world are these? Oh, it's their cloak. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Interesting. I've never seen anything like this. I've never worn anything like this. Let me just, let me say that. I've never worn anything like this. Um, okay, cool. This is cool. What is that face? Hold on a minute. <laughs> Markiplier, this is, this is a cool design, man, but you, you look a little too excited there, bro. <laughs> they always make me laugh. If you don't know, Markiplier's Markiplier's funny, dude. He makes me laugh. Okay, this is all really cool stuff. It doesn't look like they do much else. There's not really much for me to analyze. I mean, I could go through piece by piece and analyze. And if you guys want to see that for Cloak, let me know. I will absolutely go through and do a video per drop because each drop has, look at, like enough pieces for me to analyze. But the designs here are all the same, you know, like with the, with the infrared here. Let's look at it in depth a little bit. So that's really cool. I love the infrared, the intergalactic expedition mission out there. Like, cool, it's it's spacey, it's infrared, it's got Mars, and like, you know, it's it's interesting. I like the stone wash sort of uh, tie-dye here. Really awesome, really well done. This is cool. I like that they have this unique piece. This is awesome. This actually makes their brand feel different from everybody else, right? This makes their, their merch feel like their merch. When you're able to design something like this, solid boys, solid. I love it. I absolutely love it. This is a solid eight. I love the design. I love everything. The whole drop gets an eight. This is cool. If I went through and analyzed piece by piece, it may be a different score, but overall, the whole thing gets an eight. Awesome, boys. I love the Seek Wonder. Let's move on to Living Color. Okay, rainbows and uh, light colors and rainbow backgrounds. I am assuming there is a charity involved with this one. I am assuming that. Why don't we look at this piece and we'll see. 10% of product sales from Living Color Collection directly benefits the Trevor Project, the world's largest suicide prevention and crisis intervention organization for LGBTQ, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and questioning young people. That's awesome. Way to go. Way to donate to a good cause. That's good for you guys. I'm, I'm very big on suicide prevention and, and, uh, and charities like that. So 
absolutely uh, solid for you guys to do that. I'm trying, I'm gonna go through this quick because obviously, oh, I like that. I'm not usually a fan of rainbow stuff, like at least for me to wear, but as a design, this is really cool. The lightness of it, the, the brightness of the design, the way that it kind of flows with the cloud look almost in that tie dye, that's awesome. It looks good on black too, but this is like with this, it looks really good. Oh, weird, they do bags and stuff too. So, so cool. I like that. And I like the kind of face thing. I don't know why. It's not like necessarily good design, but I understand the reasoning behind it which makes it better this hat's whatever honestly i'm not a not a fan of that hat uh, oh now i am i love the little patches you guys know me it's details but no the front's kind of whatever i mean i don't know if it's part of this drop and that's like that's like a big deal but uh for me that 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 doesn't win me just like how it is here on the pants I, that doesn't win me over Okay, so the Bloom Muscle Tee. This is a different kind of design, it looks like. Interesting. It's interesting. It's nothing nothing that special. Oh, it's the C. It's the C of, of the Cloak logo. Oh, that's cool. They did a Bloom from their own logo. Subtlety wins. Way to go. Oh, I love that front, too. This is very generic for a brand to do. This kind of cloak, cloak, you know, like Volcom, Volcom. Like, they all do it, but this is cool. Not sure I'd wear the Muscle Tee, though. These are cool. These these cloaks here are really cool. I like that they did tie dye on them. I re these are just interesting. All they really are is a sweatshirt that's hemmed differently. Like that's really what they look like to me. These are those same designs. I like that. I really do. They have more of this bloom. Oh, this is cool. They do a bloom of each color. That's really nice. This sweatshirt is the is the best looking one here. I really like this a lot. I like the subtlety of the back. So the problem with this top one that I have is that back. I don't like the back. Uh, I think I, the, the face is, it just doesn't work for me. This is cool. This is a cool hoodie. I would wear this. Same with this, I guess, but this is better with that, with that light blue. I don't know. I, I like lighter colors sometimes. Most of the time I wear black, but I like, I like lighter colors. Overall, from a design perspective, there's not much going on here. It's all very minimal and subtle, but I like that. The cloak logo, I really like. I feel like they use it a lot, which is good because they're branding their own stuff. But as far as the face design that's here and you know some of these other ones, like the, the bloom is cool and all, but none of them really strike out at me as like, oh, this is awesome. And this this one, I don't know what the CCCCCCC is. I mean, I'm assuming it has something to do with, with, the, with the charity. It's, uh, I'm, I'm not a fan of it. It just, it doesn't look good. It, it looks kind of lazy. Honestly, the C is like that, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just being mean to them. This one, solid seven out of 10. I like, I, I, the only one I would really buy in here if I was to buy something would either be this shirt, which I'm, I'm not that big of a fan of, or this sweatshirt. I really like this, it on the sweatshirt. I feel like I could, I could pull that off a little bit better, but solid seven out of 10 boys. Way to go. Ooh, I like this. So this is actually what I saw of cloak many years ago. Now, it, you're, you're probably looking at this and going, oh, what is that? There's nothing on it. That's what's so great about it. That means that there's quality behind what they're doing because they don't need to put the big graphic. There's quality in this shirt or in this sweatshirt or in this sweat or in these sweatpants. There's probably high quality. Let's look. I got to look. Is that in? Oh, no way. That's embossed. That is awesome. Their logo is kind of whatever. It's just a C, like a C clamp, but that's awesome. Look at that. Uh, it's branded by them. Good. It's not merch merch where you're just buying like a gild and heavy cotton t-shirt and throwing your stuff on it. I This gets mad respect. 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Sweet. This is this is the coolest thing I've seen so far. I'd wear this or I'd wear this. This, this black one probably more. This is, wait, is that embossed too? What in the world? They, they love fashion. All right, these guys know what they're doing. All right, all right. Uh, I'm in a league of my own here. These guys know what they're doing. I love it. I'm assuming this has an emboss detail somewhere. Does it? Does it have anything on it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, a deboss stitch. Oh, sweet. Okay. Still cool. Still cool. Oh, dot camo. That's cool. That's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm trying to find something that's a little more designed so I can look at it. <laughs> okay, just standard cloak. I mean, that's cool. I like the simplicity. The, you know, the stroke up top, the stroke on the bottom. Really good simplicity there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yes. The collar detail. You guys see that collar detail right there? Right there. I love that. 
I love that by any brand. I don't care who it is. It, like if you're able to do that as a YouTuber, that is awesome. That means that you really did your research and you actually went for the source, meaning they know where their stuff is coming from. So I'm wondering, it's probably not China. They probably are sourcing this stuff from high quality vendors within whatever country you know they're in. I'm assuming Mark Blyer's in the US and uh, uh, Jacksepticeye I think is in Ireland still. I think I think they're sourcing that properly. That's that's ethical of them. Okay, another one of these. I like that. I like that that shirt. I hate this. <laughs> you guys will probably laugh at this, but I absolutely despise two tone anything. I wear you know like the three quarter sleeve two tones, but that, I feel like that's different. This is this is gross to me. I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh, and they do leggings. Cool. Overall, these pieces. I want to check out this one. I like when there's black on black. I want to see this. Oh, there's actual detail to it. No way. Oh, and there's worth. Oh, this is so cool. Look at look at the little patch at the bottom. Is that on all of them? And they do the. Oh my God. Let me explain something. This is how you make a high quality clothing line. This is exactly how you make high quality clothing right here you go through you find the good source for it you find the way to get these cool print ideas out whether it's embossing debossing or you know technically it's embroidery but it doesn't matter you could do anything like that but to find that put the effort and quality into just the print process alone is so amazing to me the fact that they took this much time means these guys really care about fashion means they really care about clothing and it blows my mind because it's so wonderful to see this this drop here is the best drop i've seen so far and i have a feeling if there's anything more like it it only gets better from here solid nine out of ten can't give it a ten because it's it, it there's not enough design here for me to to you know analyze that much but as far as clothing design solid nine out of ten boys wow i'm just baffled that this is a merch line like technically it's not you can buy jacksepticeye merch but technically it is like this is a full-blown clothing drop from these guys way to go way to go minecraft dungeon that's a game right oh they must have partnered okay 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 i was confused sorry all right let's go let's go through this all right i'm seeing a lot of minecraft influence hmm, interesting i'm seeing some cool high quality design styles so like how they have like the justified and then uh the, the sleeve print and the the style of design i feel like didn't change i feel like it's still the style is kind of them like uh like as far as where the prints are at and, and the quality of what's done they're really good at color I'm noticing that a lot. They're very, Cloak is very good at color. It feels unfair to judge this, but I have to. Overall, design-wise, it, uh, let me see the back of this. They have like a two-tone going on. This is for kids. This is for kids, all of it. This is stuff I feel like I could buy at Walmart. There's, there's a level of nerd that I'm willing to go. And I'll wear, I used to wear a Call of Duty shirt around and stuff like that, but a Minecraft shirt? I guess if you're really, really into Minecraft, all right, go right ahead. Like this is, this is all you, dude. But their designs are not bad here, to say the least, based on what they've been given to work with, which is that kind of blocky 8-bit look. This one hurts me. Because while the design is good, like look at, like this is not bad design for what this is, right? I mean, it's a skeleton rang a chicken, but uh, but it's not bad design for what it is, for what they were forced to work with. If this was just like Minecraft stuff pasted all over this or whatever, I would give this a much lower rating, but this definitely gets a, it gets a six. It gets a six because I don't like I don't like the overuse of Minecraft with it, but I do understand that they that they had to for this. This is obviously a drop for, you know, Minecraft Dungeons. It's really cool at the end of the day that they were able to make high fashion design look good with Minecraft. The design is very good, guys, but um, this the, you're working with just bad, 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 like, assets in general. So, uh, yeah, definitely 6 out of 10 on the Minecraft Dungeons. That's meh. Okay, new Misfits. Let's see, this is the next drop. Okay, let's, uh, I, I wanna see what this says a little bit more. Did they steal that? Maybe not steal, maybe they had somebody render that real quick, I don't know. It looks like a movie poster. First criticism right away. All right, first criticism right away. Navy blue is awful. I think navy blue is one of the worst colors that has ever, or, no, not navy, I'm sorry, royal, royal blue. That's what that is, that is not navy. Royal blue is one of the worst colors that has ever lived. It is 
so bad because the only thing it looks good with is gold and even then it looks terrible automatically like like these royal blue ones and and that just no just straight up no what i do like is this i really like this this is a cool kind of tron style logo that i really like i really really like that a lot 10 percent protein proceeds oh sweet so it's another like COVID. okay for covid Cool. Lots of retro look I'm seeing. Lots of like 80s style. But uh, let me just say something to all the designers out there who, you know, think that, you know, clothing designers specifically who think that bringing back the 80s style is like the way to go. Um, there's a reason it died. All right. There's a reason it died. There's a reason we don't make stuff like that anymore. And to bring it back just upsets me <laughs> because it's so ugly. This is a cool piece. I like this a lot. Let me see the back. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that Tron style. That's cool. That's really cool. Ooh. I really like this white on pink. What's on the sleeves? That's how you ruin a design. I don't like the scratches. It matches nothing of everything of this piece. If you would have done maybe just like a square with the with a grid in it like that or something, like that would have been cool, but the scratches ruined this piece. Fully ruined that piece. What, in, what is he doing? <laughs> you gotta love Mark's face. It just makes you laugh. That's just ridiculous. Oh, I love it. Um, these are standard beanies. They're cool. I like them. I don't think... Ooh, I like that bandana a lot. Lots of cool different things. I hate the 80 style stuff and the scratches. This this gets a six. I really like a few of the pieces, but it's not enough to make up for everything else in here. Like this, like this is awful. I hate 80s design. If you like it, go ahead. But for me as a designer, I don't like that at all. Next piece, next drop is Love Your Mother. Oh, lots of greens. I'm assuming something to do with Mother Earth. Love Your Mother. Okay, all right. It's Oh, I like that kind of faded out earth like it's deteriorating i like depressing stuff i'm sorry i really like that that's so cool ah environmental defense fund awesome so they're so they're funding uh the environment here i love it i love it so much okay jack all right all right Let, let's 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 analyze this model picture here real quick okay why does he look like he's pointing at me like this and saying i saw you 10 years ago when you dropped that piece of trash on the ground this is your fault. Jack looks like like the vegan that, that walks by when you're having a steak at a restaurant and he's pointing at you like, you're the problem. I, I'm not trying to say anything bad about Jack. Like, but that is so funny. Like, he literally just looks like he's, he's, a, he's a vegan trying to accuse you of being a monster. That aside, the shirt is really, really cool. Um, the love your mother on the back, I wish they would have done more with the design, but maybe they're just trying to bolden it a little bit to like beef up the boldness. Love that. Love the subtlety. Oh, wait, that has a print on it. Oh, that's nice. That's nice, boys. I like that. I like the arrows. Kind of, It's almost like a recycle thing, you know, it's cool. The back's awful. I mean, the design of the back is cool, but I don't like when the square is that small. If it was big and large like this, and maybe had a few more elements in it, it would be really cool. Yeah, there's not much else to see. Oh, wait, they have, wait, is, he, is that Markiplier wearing the, he's wearing a crop top. Why does it look like he was digitally put in there? I feel like, uh, oh, it's because they Photoshopped it hard to make it look brighter. To the person making these mock-ups, don't do that. Um, what you're doing is making it look unbelievably fake on Mark. That's not, that's, that's not how it should go. It looks good. I like all of this, really, even this, even the, the cool cape looking thing. See, because look, look at the difference. This is it photoshopped, bright green craziness. This is it not photoshopped. For future reference cloak, not that you'll ever see this, but uh, try to be a little more honest about your color because that's a problem um, in all design in general, not just you guys, but like across the board, people do a lot of Photoshop on their pieces. And then when you get the piece, you're disappointed. I've had that happen. Try to be a little more honest about the color here. I think, uh, I think this overly brightness needs to be brought down. This gets a 7 out of 10. It's very, uh, yeah, 7 out of 10. It's good. It's good. It's not amazing, but it's good. I honestly don't really like it at all. I understand the, the, the vibe of it, which is cool. I like the black tie-dye, okay? All right, I do. The colors are fine, but I would never wear any of this. I don't find it. it I'm sure it's for a good cause, too. Yeah, now I feel bad. It's for COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund. It's just not good design. I don't like the squiggly C at all. Too much trying to be in your cloak brand. 
you could have done something better with the back. I mean, maybe they just needed a quick drop real quick. I don't know. Maybe, I mean, it's for a good cause. I can't be that upset, right? This is bad. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, honestly. I have to give credit though, because I know that they, that they do high quality here. So I can't give them that low of a score, but I really don't like this at all. I know there's people that do, and that's okay. You can like this. Like I said with everything, you can like whatever you want. My opinion here, this is like a four. This is not good. I, I don't I don't like it. I don't like that they didn't expand on the back instead of just that. Is that Five Nights at Freddy's? No way. Oh my God, they did Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, why? 10% approach seeds. Oh, cool. And it goes to COVID-19 solidarity response fund. Awesome. I like this. I really like the subtle little cloak in the middle like that. But I hate the fact that the Five Nights at Freddy's characters are on the side. It's so ugly. It's so ugly. Oh my God, it's so bad. Oh, what, is that an apron? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so they obviously went for like that pizza place, Chuck E. Cheese vibe, like cool, cool, cool. Um, the design itself is great, honestly. Like the way that they're able to work with the Five Nights at Freddy's brand and make that kind of flow with the cloak brand is really cool. I don't want to judge it too hard, but it gets a six solely because I know I, oh wait, the security jacket's cool. Wow, that's really cool. I'd wear this while I play Five Nights at Freddy's at a friend's house. That's cool. That's a cool thing. Quality wise, obviously they're they're really good, but because it's a game, I have to give it the same rating as uh, as the Minecraft one, which I think was six. So it definitely gets a six. April Fool. Okay. I like the colors of this a lot. That bright yellow green is really, really good. I really, really like it. Oh, I like the subtle detail in the back. Like this is cool. This is just a whatever drop, I think, you know? Okay. I mean, what, what does this go to? Oh, more COVID-19? Okay, cool. It's hard to judge when there's just three pieces of the same thing, but basically this design overall is nice. I like the yellow and the black, but there's just not a, I mean, it's subtle. It's really cool. It's really subtle in that sense. Another six. Uh, it, it's too, it's too, it's not even subtle. It's just like too much not there, uh, but I understand it's a joke. So I don't know. This, I think a six is, is, a, is a fine answer there. This is PN unearthed. So this must be like a second drop of the same style. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Look at that tech butterfly. That's awesome. Okay. That's cool. I like that. I like the cream. I always like cream color, uh, for women's clothing. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I understand what the idea is here. Okay. I get it. I understand they were trying to do something with chemical formulas. This literally, unfortunately looks like a shirt. You get it like a science convention, man. Maybe not on this cause it's a crop top, but it looks so lame. It just, ugh. I, I don't like it. I really, really, really don't like that. No, that's, that's ugly. I didn't, I really don't like that. That's cool. I like that. That cool little logo there with the with the waves, the sound waves in it. Ah, love the back. Love in the back. That's a cool piece right there. The pink here is cool. Is it the same? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same. It's just different, uh, different colors. I think this is very interesting uh, design style. Oh, I love this. I love this. Oh, it looks like a metal album that I bought the other day. Oh, that's so cool. Hidden in plain sight. Oh, I love the, the vertical font. That's really cool. You ruined a piece. This is this is a, that 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 other side here. If you would have put maybe just like your normal cloak here, just like very very small, this is that would almost be like a like a nine out of ten. But because you put this piece of crap cloak logo here, oh my god, it just it looks so lame. It looks so lame now. Like it looked so good and then it was ruined. I'm more upset about this because you ruined something that was good. You ruined something that was good. Uh, this jacket's cool. I love jackets. I love when people do high quality jackets like this. Ah, uh, nice, nice, nice and, and high fashion, high quality, hidden in plain sight. I get it. Really cool. Love it. This is a much cooler logo. Use this everywhere. That's awesome. That's an awesome logo. Way to go, boys. That's awesome. Solid seven out of 10 on this drop. This was really, really good. We're on the last one. And I think it's just a more of a, the same of what we just saw. Uh, oh, it's not. Oh, it's very different. Okay, I don't like the squiggly line normally, but I like the embroidered squiggly line. That's actually really cool. That's a cool way to do your logo, boys. That's really, really cool. Is that a five panel? That is a five panel. Look at it. It's got a patch and everything. What's the back look like? Oh, it's a buckle. If that's a metal buckle, I would be I, I would be more impressed, but it's not. Cool. Cool. I mean, it, it's the same as the other one. Just I like it's more of a tie-dye, and I like that. Uh, oh, lots of tie-dye here. Lots of tie-dye. I love blue and black tie-dye. That's this is cool. This is a really cool piece right here. 
This is an awesome piece. This is one of the best pieces they have. I love this. See how the arms aren't all messed up? They actually match what we're looking at here. This is awesome. Solid piece, Cloak. Solid piece. I, this is probably one of my favorite pieces that you have. Do they have a black version? They have a black version of it. No. Damn. Oh, look at the cloak deteriorating. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, I love this. I love the blue. There's nothing on the back, obviously, but the, I love the blue. Love the black. Loving the crop tops. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like the cream with the blue like that. Oh, the, that gradient. That gradient's much better. That gradient's much better. The blue to the black is a great gradient. I love it. Oh, whoa, look at these leggings. Those are sick leggings. I don't know a single girl that would wear those, but these leggings are cool. Last thing here is this PN program program jacket black. Oh, it's a windbreaker. I'm a sucker for windbreakers. I'm a sucker for windbreakers. I love windbreakers. That's cool. That's a, that's a nice piece. It's a nice touch. I love the subtle print of the cloak. It's really cool. Let's go back to the front and make sure there's not more. Oh, there is a little bit more. Okay, well, let's look here. What is this? Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't think we saw this already, right? Same, same, same. Oh, the gators are cool. It's all very similar. Different gradients, different things, and it kind of... Uh, this is this is straight up awful. This is... I, I'm going to see if it's in stock. Let's see what's in stock here. This is awful design. I really don't like it. Um, I understand it's like gamer style. I get it, but this is awful. I hate this a lot. It really upsets me to look at. It just ugh. that has to be the lowest score I would give anything. Honestly, that's a two because I know the quality is so good that it gets those points for those two points for quality. But here, that's just it, the design is so awful and the colors are so off that it, I, I just I can't I can't I would never touch this. So that looks like it. Oh, wait, wait, there's one more here I want to see. What's this? Okay, this is cool. This is a cool piece. Oh, that's gloss print. That's gloss print. That's rare. You don't see that very often on clothes. Gloss print is very rare because most of the time it looks cheap when it's done, but this actually looks really well done. Way to go, way to go. I really like that a lot. I can't really rate that one because there's not a line to go with it. Uh, eight out of 10, I'll give that one an eight. I like that a lot. Overall, guys, I really do like Cloak. I honestly, they, they're very good with their quality. They're very good with almost everything that they do. And I did, I wish I could have gone through piece by piece, but I, I feel like that would take hours. A solid company to buy something from because you know 10% of it is probably gonna go to something good. I wish they would do maybe a little more on of the way the classics were. So, you know, if we went back to the classics, like the grays and the blacks and those sort of things were, and the just the embossing and the subtleness of that, that has to be one of the best merch lines I've ever seen dropped that is seriously one of the most amazing like drops that they that they've had that I think any merch company has ever had that was incredible I think it was their original drop so they really wanted to make an impression I just wish they would have stuck with that a little bit more I'm glad they stuck with the quality of what they're doing I just wish they would have stuck with it a little bit more you know what I mean I really like these guys they have some really amazing pieces and then they have some trash but then again they have a lot more options for everybody and I really like that they have that availability for everybody because I feel like with when we looked at the scuff store, it felt like you're kind of forced to buy one of these nine items. Here, I feel like I have options. A lot of it is sold out because it is a drop, but uh, I hope they stay solid with what they're doing. They keep the classics going and they kind of meander into that a little bit. You know, they kind of go into more of the high quality, high design, high fashion like they were doing before. But anyway, that is my review of the Cloak brand store by Jacksepticeye and Markiplier. Solid, solid work, guys, across the board. Lots of high numbers for you. This was really, really well done. And I really hope to do more reviews like this in the future. If you guys like this video, if you like uh, seeing stuff like this, please leave a like below, subscribe, uh, leave a comment on somebody that you want me to review. Leave a comment on a company you would like me to look at and review or a merch company or a YouTuber who you've seen before. Let me know. I want to see who's next. Yeah, this is Cloak. Um, I'll leave a link to them below. They do good work. You guys should go check them out. But until next time, guys, take care.